Hi there, and welcome back. And if you're new here, I'm Chrissy. I live in my truck camper with my two dogs, Bodie and Izzy. We've been living nomadically on the road for the past four years, but last video I explained, we officially are hitting the road again in our new rig. And I won't give you all the details on how we ended up here. If you're interested, there's videos on my channel that explain that. But with that said, in last video, we hit the road, we hung out in Texas for a few days, and then now we are on our way to Arizona to one of the spots that has been on my to-go list for the past four years. got done with Planet Fitness so that means I'm ready to rock and roll we're, and we're going to an area in Arizona that has been on my want to go list for four years so let's get to it. Our first stop is at Bell Rock. We parked in the Bell Rock Pathway parking. It's very very busy so luckily there is RV parking so we got a good spot. Izzy's gonna stay here for this one. It's just a little busy right now, but I'm gonna take Bodie my lab I don't plan on going on a super long hike or anything. We're just gonna kind of mosey around. It's pretty busy around here So also it's important for me to add it is five dollars a day to park here or You can do a week pass for fifteen dollars To me well worth it. We have a really good spot and we're lucky that this place Has parking specifically just for RVs. So works out good It is the perfect weather out it's a little cloudy, but it's not too hot. And the breeze is just the good amount of chill you need so you're not like too warm going on these hikes, but it's a beautiful day. We are almost done. <laughs> it started raining. I think we have like, Maybe a quarter of a mile left. Oh, we almost made it. Are you the cutest? Are you the cutest? <laughs> you look so comfy. You look so comfy. We've been in the camper nonstop all day, just laying around because it's been so rainy and now extremely muddy, but, but the sun is out, the rainbow feels good to go out and stretch our legs. I know Bodhi's feeling good because he is sprinting around like a little puppy. So we are checking out Montezuma's well, and it is dog friendly, and it's a pretty short hike, so Izzy's gonna come with us today. So through oral history, the maid just made time for them to be. Um, they were still searching for their middle place. Let's go.
so we have a little bit of a problem yesterday after i got done driving around and i parked the car i saw that we had coolant leaking pretty bad <sighs> i called my friend Stuart that i talked to you guys about before that always helps me in these situations and i need to get to a mechanic asap yesterday was sunday so naturally i did not get very good sleep just because i'm so stressed and then on top of that we had a crazy storm and the winds are so high <clears throat> it was kind of scary so i had to talk myself down all the time being like nothing bad is going to happen from the wind we will be okay it is actually somewhat sunny today so that's a good sign uh, let's talk about mechanics three out of the four mechanics i called would not look at me because of the camper in the back and i'm not in a position where i can take the camper off so thankfully I called the mechanic that opened up later in the morning and so the wait was you know adding to my anxiety and he can get us in right away so fingers crossed this is something somewhat simple because your girl is stressed Wow, it is 6.45 p.m. It is getting dark out, it is raining. After today, it's time for a drink. Um, it was just a very long day, but a lot of good things. So this morning I spent a couple hours trying to find a mechanic close to me that would work on my truck with the camper on the back. And I'm just not willing to take the camper off by myself, leave it out here unattended. It's mostly just the whole process and then having to put it on and if I didn't have to do that, I didn't want to. So I did find one mechanic that would work on, that would work on the truck with a camper on the back. Went straight to him. They couldn't get me in right away. So thankfully, I had a friend in the area that picked me and the dogs up and took us downtown Sedona, and we walked around the shops and we got to really like catch up and everything. So that was really nice. I'm so grateful for that. So we got back to the mechanic about 3 p.m. And they hadn't even looked at it yet. So shortly after that, they started on it. It ended up just being a leak in my coolant line, which is great. They fixed my four-wheel drive because also once I left here, my four-wheel drive would not go to four-wheel drive. It was so stressful. So stressful, but it is all good now. I'm so tired, so I'm going to relax, have a beer, read a book, and go to bed. But the truck is good to go. I also think it's important for you to know, I am now... A Kindle girl and I'm so happy about it because it's been on my um, goals list to start reading a lot more and I kept failing at it and now that I have a Kindle I am reading so I've already read three books since I've been on the road and it's been a week so I think I'm doing a good job and it's also made me not be on my phone a lot more which I love so I'm very excited about it also I've not updated you remember previously when I said I needed some type of like nightlight situation in here that wasn't so bright I found one if you cannot tell and I love it so much. This little guy changes colors and it's just such a mood and it's so relaxing and I love it so much. I mean how cute. Look at look at that. And it's raining out and this book is really good and I just can't get any cozier and I'm just so thankful that today worked out. It was a long day but I'm so thankful. This is one of those reminders that these types of situations, when they happen on the road, it's just 10 times more complicated than normal. Also, my friend Lindsay, who hung out with me today and saved me, um, I was explaining to her because she wants a dog, but they don't have one right now. And it adds just another layer of complexity to everything. Every mechanic I called today, I'd say, hey, by the way, I have two dogs. They're friendly, but can we hang out like in your shop? And so far, I haven't really had any issues, but logistically, it does... Um, complicate things a little bit. Thankfully, my dogs are fairly well behaved and everyone seems to like them, but it is a whole, it is a whole ordeal to add on to trying to navigate things by yourself with mechanic problems. Anyway, I'm going to read my book and then I'm going to go to bed. 